Hello and welcome to the Metropolitan Pistol Club for the 2021 Pistol Australia National Championships. We've got WA 1500, we've got Black Powder, we've got Service Pistol, the Olympic disciplines starting all next week. I'm your host Mike Westhorpe. If you're new to pistol shooting, stick with us. We're going to explain all the matches, meet the characters, meet our world champions and meet some of our top competitors. Pistol shooting is a fun, safe and family friendly sport for people of all ages and abilities. Pistol Australia offer a variety of matches from the Olympic pistol shooting disciplines under the auspices of the International Shooting Sport Federation or ISSF as it's more commonly known. In the non-Olympic disciplines, members can reach the pinnacle and compete for a world championship. Pistol Australia competitors are the reigning world champions in WA 1500 and Action Pistol. Four of our members have qualified to represent Australia at the 2020 Olympic Games held in Tokyo in 2021. Pistol Australia offers competition in six main categories. ISSF, WA1500, Action Pistol, Metallic Silhouette, Service Pistol and Black Powder. So what are all the matches? First up, we meet Craig Park, president of Yarra Pistol Club in Victoria, to explain how the WA1500 competition works. The WA1500 match, which is the 150 shot match, that's shot with both revolver and semi-auto, and they are completely two separate matches. In this competition, a revolver holds six rounds. Some revolvers hold more, but not for this competition. So every time you pull the trigger on a revolver, the hammer comes back, when it's released, the firing pin hits the primer on the bullet, discharging the, the round. In a revolver, there's six rounds that go into a cylinder, and that cylinder rotates around. That's a revolver, like what you might have seen in the old cowboy days. A semi-automatic is something quite different. The magazine, again, we only load six rounds in this match, but the semi-automatic holds the magazine in the grip of the gun, and every time you pull the trigger, the gun cycles. So the, the spent cartridge is ejected out, a new cartridge is loaded very fast, and you are ready to pull the trigger again. But basically the gun does a lot of the work for you that you have to do with a revolver yourself. The bullets are made up by using the, the brass, which is the shell or the ejected shell, a projectile, normally made of lead, powder, and a primer. Now the primer sits at the back of the case, the case holds the powder, and the projectile sits at the front. The projectile is what you would know as the bullet, the bit that comes out and strikes the target. When the firing pin hits the primer, it makes a spark or a flash inside the bullet. That ignites the powder. The powder expands due to burning. Those gases build up pressure and then fire the projectile out the front of the gun. The lead bullets that we use in our competitions is coated with two coats of paint. Very high tech paint and doesn't come off during the, the firing of the bullet. So the amount of lead that is dispersed into the air when handling projectiles is minimal. And so it's very safe. For new pistol shooters in Victoria, new to the sport and with a new license, you can't have a, a handgun for your first six months. And there's a few obligations. You need to shoot five matches under strict supervision. After that six months, you're able to put in a permit to acquire your first handgun. It has to be specific to a match that you're competing in, and you won't get permission to buy that gun for another month. So it's seven months from the start till you can get your first handgun. You have to meet some certain storage requirements. Now, guns can be stored in, in different places. There are professional storage facilities available, or if you have the right storage equipment at home, the right safe and alarms, etc., you can store them at home. WA1500 is the World Association match. The 1500 is in relation to the maximum possible score. It's a 150 shot match. Each shot could be worth a maximum of 10 points. Therefore, 1500 is your maximum possible score. The match is shot over various distances, seven yards, 15 yards, 25 and 50 yards. Mostly standing, freestyle standing. At 50 yards, we do shoot sitting, prone, which is laying down. 
and we shoot from the left and right hand side of the barricade. When we shoot left hand side of the barricade, we shoot with our left hand. We also shoot in a kneeling position at 25 yards. Here's a target. A shot in the middle scores a 10. We do count X's in this match as well, which could be used as a tiebreaker, if you like, with two people on the same score. So the centre's a 10, and then it goes out 9, 8, and 7. Outside of the 7 ring is a 0. Outside of that is a miss altogether. The match is scored on six different targets, shot at six different distances and various sequences. After the match, all the targets are collected and the scores are tallied from each target. The sevens and the eights and the nines are all counted up and that gives you your total score. The X count is used to separate competitors that finish on the same score. It's like a tie break if you like. In the 1500 match, we start off at seven yards and we shoot 12 shots in 20 seconds. The gun will be holstered to start with. We'll draw the gun, shoot six shots, reload six more shots. Then we go to 15 yards and we do the exact same course of fire. 25 yards, we shoot in 90 seconds, six shots kneeling, six shots standing at the left barricade and shooting left hand, six shots shooting on the right side of the barricade. Then at 50 yards, we shoot in 165 seconds, six shots sitting, six shots laying down prone, six shots left and right of the barricade. Then we come back into 25 yards and freestyle, we shoot 12 shots in 35 seconds and we do that twice. So there's lots of different courses of fire, positions and timing. Shooting from 50 yards is pretty important in this match. The good guys are only dropping a couple of points each series. Shooting from sitting, very stable position. Shooting prone, right and left barricade. It all takes practice, but it's enjoyable once you learn how to do it. Pistol shooting is a very safe sport uh, by comparison to others. I mean, there's far fewer injuries in pistol shooting than there is in non-contact sports like netball, soccer, or basketball and football. When you start pistol shooting, uh, in training in the beginning and then in competitions later, it's a long pathway. There's safety courses, there's ongoing training, there's a lot of supervision. We have range officers supervising training, we have range officers supervising every competition, every match. For new members, you'll need eye and ear protection, of course, you'll need a holster and some either magazines for a semi-auto or speed loaders for a revolver. Besides that, you're good to go. If you want to get involved in pistol shooting, contact Pistol Australia and we'll see you at the range. Day one of the Pistol Australia National Championships, 24 months since we've had a national competition. This week, we're at the Metropolitan Pistol Club in Brisbane. WA 1500, first relays underway behind me. Semi-auto coming up here, WA 1500. One of the interesting points of the Queensland range, competitors move up and down, change their firing line based on the time of the competition. A lot of other ranges around the country, they'll shoot from the 50 yard line. And the targets will move forward and back down the range on rails. Peter Bruce there on screen, which for concentration around the barricade left-handed. One of the top competitors there, Marty Jones from New South Wales. South Australia well represented. Jensen there. And left hand around that barricade. If you're right handed, you're shooting opposite hand. And vice versa. If you're a left hander, you shoot right handed around the barricade. Some vision on sight. 
Change officers, volunteers, scorers. He's right-handed around the barricade. See the time clock on his arm there, just to make sure he stays within the designated time. And so you see the recoil. Turn into the holster and point it down range. Trying to hit that X ring in the center. Tens, X's, nines, eight, sevens, down to no score. But as will pack up and move to a new firing point, Jamie Longbottom. Competitors coming out of gun safety check. Shooting in the sitting position. A few metallic sights. And the prone position. Marianne Toronto, top female competitors. Yes, squeezes away six shots. He's steady, reload, checks the time, second series of six shots. Peter Bruce there takes gold in the WA 1500 pistol. Jamie Longbottom silver, Peter Knowlton the bronze. And we move now to our top 10 WA 1500 pistol. Next up. We meet pistol shooting all star father son duo, Peter and Dean Bruce. Oh, wow. My earliest memory of pistol shooting would be uh, probably be running range officer calls uh, for, for the first Australian team, which was Dad and Tony Drabs. I've always been around pistol shooting. I've, I've had a massive influx of, of memories of pistol shooting. They're, they're my extended family. I, I love them all to bits and um, yeah, they're uh, just a, a great big family. I started uh, at the age of 12. I uh, started shooting IWSF, junior sports and air pistol. Dad's old rule was I've got to learn how to deliver a shot before I uh, progress into the service 1500 matches. Just wanted all my joints and everything to develop correctly and an air pistol is still the best training aid we can possibly do. So to try and um, yeah, learn how to execute a shot and then we slowly introduced ourselves into service 25 yards. We started in the PA and 1500 matches. Uh, the old rule was two matches of air pistol at a certain score. So I couldn't just go on the out of the range and uh, and whack 60 shots down there and go, beauty, I'm allowed to shoot 25 yard service now. It had to be above a certain score. I wasn't very good at time management, so I'd be uh, late Friday afternoons before a shooting Golgong or Tamworth or somewhere and be, uh, be trying to punch out this score. And sometimes it took yeah, two, three, four goes. Uh, and obviously it's just evolved from there. So I do distinctly remember my first match of 25 yard service. I went to the New South Wales State Championships and failed chronograph, so my competition side of things didn't actually start very well. It's been, a, it's been uh, fantastic ever since then. I've been putting back into the sport now for a number of years and improved my coaching um, qualifications and uh, Pete's just one example. I mean, obviously he's my, my lad and uh, he's, he's done very well, but um, yeah, I really enjoy coaching and watching people progress and it's uh, and that doesn't necessarily mean the top end either. I, I really uh, like watching shooters uh, improve their performance, whether it be a PB or a, or a grade break, relative to their grade. So I don't mind what grade they're in, but it's, a, uh, it's rewarding for the shooter and it's also, I find it quite rewarding as the, as the coach as well to uh, see the men and women in our sport improve and, um, and get more out of it. It's really, really rewarding. I find it quite satisfying. We train together yeah, everywhere we go. So we do everything together. 
I suppose uh, we push each other a lot. I'll ask Dad the night before a training exercise, uh, what's the plan? And he'll say, right, we're going to focus on 50s. So I'll shoot prone or sitting and he'll watch and then he'll shoot prone or sitting and then watch and then we go a little bit tip for tat on uh, just trying to identify certain things uh, the best we can. So we, we're always competing as well. So I do believe the competition side of things between us possibly puts us to the next level a little bit. We really try and uh, hone skills and be quite precise. Dad has an old saying of uh, quality, not quantity. So uh, I learnt that way when I first started shooting as well on, on a Dylan 550 and Dad reckons that was, uh, that was easy compared to when he started when everything was a single stage press. So yeah, look, we don't go out with, you know, two, three, four hundred rounds. We go out with a hundred rounds for 50 meter shooting and be specific with the 100 rounds. So I think that's where um, our training regime helps and pushes us uh, to be more specific. The projectile business started because uh, a couple of reasons. There was not a lot of companies around and they were a little bit hard to get. And we were striving for a quality that was probably above uh, what was commercially available at the time and uh, we started off with a, uh, a hand uh, casting machine and found that these uh, projectiles were nice and accurate in what we were looking for and um, we then decided to uh, import a machine and start uh, red centre projectiles then knowing that if we spent the money to import the machine and make it the sort of investment we needed to on sell some product to try and offset the cost and uh, it became quite apparent fairly quickly then that um, there was more people like Peter and I that were looking for that product and, uh, and things progressed from there. So it's been, um, yeah, it's been really, really good and we're still growing to this day. Oh look, there's always banner. There's banner in everything we do. Um, it's, it's great fun. Uh, Dad's my best mate, so we obviously go tip the tat a lot. Um, I always dreamt of shooting the scores that he shot. Uh, for many years, uh, I, was, I, was, I was a degrader, and so was he, so a lot of people don't believe us when we say that, but look, I had a fantastic coach in my corner, so um, that put us uh, into a position where we were able to have healthy competition. Um, we obviously banter all the time, and then that doesn't matter what competition, we're still talking halfway down the range in the World Championships, so uh, a lot of people don't understand how we can possibly be talking to each other and and ask them for start and then as soon as those muffs go on and uh, it's game on so look it's great fun it's uh i've may have kicked him off the last three months so four months so uh but he's uh, nipping at my heels still so look it makes it so good yeah being able to push each other further and further uh it's it's fantastic so hopefully we can do it for a few more years on yeah, the, uh, the Australian Hilltop World Championships was certainly quite a highlight for, um, for Pete and I and um, we, not only did we compete as father and son in the, uh, in the teams and, and get a win was really nice but uh, for Pete to take out the uh, WA1500 Revolver main match and uh, I think he might have also got the 4 inch 48 shot World Championship as well, uh, it was really really satisfying, he shot exceptionally well. 2019 Worlds at Hilltop was yeah was uh, the highlight of my shooting career, well one of anyway. The uh, the world record that Dad and I shot in Sweden was was absolutely unbelievable. And then for me to uh, go out and be able to pull off a, a fantastic result um, at the previous World Championships, yeah look I I can't thank anyone enough. I. Uh, as Dad's put me in the position, Mum's been in my corner, and that um, everyone has contributed to a certain degree that uh, that made that World Championships a very, very special uh, three days. Yeah, there's uh, bragging rights, and they don't just go for a couple of days. They'll uh, they'll go on for a number of years at times. So uh, he's got a fair bit of mileage out of the World Championships. I'll give him that. But full credit to him, he deserved that. Well, we've got a, a couple of hats, so uh, our primary source of income is our helicopter business, so um, we uh, contract to the state and federal government, mainly in firefighting, uh, uh, the firefighting aspect, but we do ag work, spraying and, and um, fertilisers and different things. 
And we have a, an earth moving business that uh, we subcontracted John on rail for quite some time and we have a lot of timber railway sleepers that we uh, have been distributing over the last uh, four or five years and we've probably got another four or five years in front of us and then that'll end the sleeper side of things. So uh, that, a little bit of farming, but um, the helicopter and aviation side of things is our primary bread and butter. The firefighting component of our helicopter business is uh, some of the most intense flying you can do. It's, um, uh, it, we have various roles with the, with the agencies and uh, the 1920 season, we all remember the horrendous fires there. We had uh, two machines out pretty busy. Uh, we have contract pilots that help us out through that period. You see some amazing results. You don't want to see them, but unfortunately it's uh, part of Australian eucalypt style vegetation. We, we're going to have fires. So yeah, we do uh, air attack role and we do fire bombing and crew transport, all sorts of roles within the, uh, within the fire season. The future for uh, myself and, and Dad is you know, to keep competitive shooting going, keep enjoying our shooting, have fun. Yeah, uh, just see where the, the rollercoaster takes us.